is a sunflower seed. And we're trying to get that yeah, seed the inside. Kernel, yeah. Maybe the ranch flavored ones. Yeah. We suck on the seeds a little bit. Mm, making my mouth water just thinking about the Bible. <laughs> And we are back. Hello and welcome to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am Junior Asparagus. Junior Asparagus. And this here is Frank. All bundled up. We are getting a little bit of a nor'easter. Do you know what a nor'easter is? It comes from the nor'easter. Does it come from the nor'easter? Nor'east? It comes from the northeast. I thought it is where it ends up. I don't, I don't know what it is. I think if the wind is blowing in from the northeast, watch out. It's, the nor'easter is blowing up. But my question is, we are the Northeast. I thought it was for the lakes. Oh. Could be wrong. You brought it up. Well, because I, I saw a headline today that said, um, Nor'easters doesn't even always mean snow. Learn what a Nor'easter is. You know what I did? So we are going to be hit by a, northeast, a Nor'easter? I don't know. I didn't click on it. Because then we really... <laughs> <laughs> but but apparently, apparently, there's a chance... Just a chance, chance that this weekend is going to be terrible for the um, northeast of the United States. Hoping it misses Philadelphia. If it doesn't, they're saying it might be with top 20 snowstorms in the past. Thank you, Hashem. But it's not going to happen. We're going to be okay. Hold on. We are going to be fine. It's going to go to Boston. They're used to it. <laughs> they're, they're, they're used to being miserable up there. They can take it. So I don't want it. Nine inches? No, thank you. That's what, I, that's what I said. But anyway, guys, what's up? It's been a whole 24 hours since we last talked. Hope you are doing well. Hope you took a lot out of yesterday's podcast. Yes, thank you for returning. Yeah, walked away from it with the keys to life. But it's a new day. Forget about that. Forget about the keys <laughs> to life. Today's Thursday, a big day in the sports world. Are you into sports? You are. Big week in the sports world. Is it? As you know, this weekend, Sunday, is going to be the championships for the NFL. It's the Super Bowl? No. Oh. Ch- oh, the There's two conferences oh, yes. that make okay. up okay. the NFL. Okay? You got the AFC? <clears throat> you got the NFC. Okay. Those both of those conferences consist of 16 teams. Or I think there's more now. Do they add teams? I don't know. I don't care. The winner of both of those championships go to the Super Bowl. Okay. So So there'll be winners this week. Yeah, with trophies. They'll that and like Proud in their own right that yes. they won their conference. Yeah, when, when you're talking about teams, you know, championship wins do mean something. Not mm-hmm. nearly as much as Super Bowl, Bowl wins, but um, getting there and, and especially winning at the NFC at the championship level is a deal. That's big. We are. Um, we would cheer for the Philadelphia Eagles. We could cheer for the Pittsburgh. No. Steelers? No, we could not. We live in Pennsylvania. Yeah, but it's like, <laughs> no, not not in the slide. Like, you're better off p- cheering for a team that's far off. We don't like the Steelers around here. Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah, you can. You know, well, I'm cheering for the Cincinnati Bengals. Okay. Because you like the big cats. <laughs> yeah, not like Joe Burr. Joe Burr. Burr. Okay. Burr. Okay. <laughs> Joe Shiesty. Joe Burr. Yeah, this is going to be tomorrow. But, um... Yeah, because, you know, I, I, once the, the Eagles are out, I start rooting for the underdogs. Yeah. I don't like seeing people win over and so over. So the Eagles are out. Yes. Okay. Anyway, that's not even what I was talking about. Today, we have a big soccer game. You into soccer? A little football American, with the F-U-T? Yeah, American soccer. You can't say American football. American they call soccer, just everywhere else football. Okay, gotcha. F-U-T. F-U-T ball. Yeah. But I, this I is not a- everywhere not. else. This is in America. In America. The U.S. team is playing against... Who are they playing? They are playing the it's a South American team. El Salvador. El Salvador. And it is going to be in Ohio. Are they playing, are they playing El Salvador? Are you yeah, about that? look at the very top. Men's national yeah. team versus El Salvador. Okay. They're playing El Salvador. This is qualifiers for the World Cup, which like the Olympics only happens every four years. Oh, every four years for the World Cup. Yes. And it's going to be in Qatar? Yeah. Okay. They got the money. The money. Money. But um, as you know, the U.S. notoriously stinks. No, they do not. Sorry, the men. Men's soccer. Yeah. Stinks. St- they get they get laughed at. Ha ha. One thing the Americans aren't good at. We are good at it. We are not. We, we are. We're going to be. 
we're going to be. We're going to beat. We're going to beat El Salvador today, and we're going to beat Canada. Yeah. On Sunday. Okay. I'm watching the Canada U.S. team on Sunday instead of the NFL qualifiers, whatever. Yeah, Not even okay. qualifiers, championships. And then on Wednesday, we're going to beat Honduras. Well, listen, we're going <laughs> one game at a time. Okay. <laughs> we've all we've always been bad. It's not been our thing. You know, when, when you're raising kids up to be great. It's not that it's not our thing. It's that we got into it much later than the other countries. Yes. Because if you were born in the 60s, you you were playing football, uh, American football. Yes. Okay. And or then, baseball. Or baseball. Or yeah. Or anything. <laughs> Soccer was very, eh, maybe you could find it. Now, obviously, it's everywhere, but... But we're new to it. We're new to it. And anyway, today's game, big game, big deciding factor on whether we are going to qualify for mm-hmm. the old World Cup. And um, the the uh, tides are on our favor. Is that a, is that a saying? The flags know. are flying our way. I don't know. The wind is in our direction. It's going to be very cold. Columbus, Ohio. Oh, yeah. Now, do you know where El Salvador is? It's near mm-hmm. Canada. No. <laughs> um, it's very close to the equator. They'd, Ecuador. Yeah, no, the equator. <laughs> and um, they're used to warm climates. So bring on the snow. Okay, so we're gonna, we're going to be cold, but they're going to be colder. Yes. And and it's going to be like ugh, another winter for us. They're going to say, "What is this?" And they're probably El Salvadorian. They kind of have to be. Okay, because in football, you don't have to be from Philadelphia to be on the Philadelphia Eagles. But these but, are national teams. Yeah, it's like yeah. the Olympics. Like, I mean, you need to be American and play on, you know, be in the American Olympics. Okay. And even if some players will play on another team, but it's because they're citizens of There's that There's some team. connection. Yeah. So they're El, they're El Salvador. Canada, we might not have some cold luck with them, but Honduras, again, we'll, we'll have luck because it's going to be in Minnesota, back in Minnesota. Oh, the Canadian game? No, the Canadian game's in Canada. So which one's in Minnesota? When we play Honduras on February 2nd. Oh. Might have a chance. Um, what's his name? His name is Walker Zimmerman and he's on the team. And I just bring him up because he's, um, he really is somebody who talks about his faith a lot. Oh. He's on the U.S. men's, what's it called? National, National team. team. Yeah. MSNT. Um, he literally, one time he was in high school and he, the, the coach was like screaming at one of his teammates. This is a little, this is a little sassy, but he did it. And he, he said, um, coach, I think that sometimes the sufferers, the tougher stuff we go through on a personal level, the closer we get to God. He's like, can we pray for a minute? I don't know if it was a Christian high school. I don't think it was. But he's he's very Christian. And even um, he, on his website, the top of the website is 1 Corinthians 4.20. For the kingdom of God does not consist in words, but in power. And um, he's very Jesus-centric. and We like that. With his teammates. But El Salvadorian is a very Christian country. So God had to pick a team. If I, I'd probably go El Salvador. I don't think God is going to pick the World Cup team, but um, I, I'm happy to see people bringing the name of God and the strength of the motivation of Jesus into everything, even sports. So you can be a sports guy and you're a Christian at the same time. Yeah, you see it a lot. And always, you know, they'll say him first. Yeah. Him first. Yeah. And um, yeah, you see it in other religions too. I mean, like... uh. You see, like, Khabib Nurmagomedov, I bring him up a couple times, MMA fighter, mm-hmm. but he's always very quick to say. And he's Muslim. He's Muslim. And he's always very quick to be like, hey, this isn't me, all right? Because he's, like, one of these, like, devout Orthodox. Okay. Um, and even, like, when Conor McGregor was, like, mm. him and they were going at it, he come out as religion a lot, and he's like, hey, listen, don't bring, don't bring this into it. Conor McGregor, it brings me to my thoughts that I was looking up if there were Jewish people in Ireland... And I'm Irish. That's why. Hi, Irish. I'm Spencer. <laughs> I was looking it up. And um, there's not many. And there's not many synagogues. There's some in, in the north of Ireland. But I saw some very terrible stuff that that there were some Jew- Jews that had taken up residence in Ireland back in the early 1900s. And that they were run out of town. Catholic priest was preaching on the pulpit to... Get these people out of here. People were beating them up. And well, that's... two things. One, unacceptable. Two, are you surprised? Hasn't I'm sad. Ha- I'm not surprised. Today's no. today's Holocaust Day, I think. So I don't want to talk about something else, but it's really not talking about something else, but it's kind of connected. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. It's so much smaller scale. I'm going to say two different things. The first okay. thing, Ireland's been fighting over 
Catholicism and, Pro- and Protestant mm-hmm. um, yeah, beliefs right. for uh, 200 plus years. Mm-hmm. And those are to both believe in Jesus. So the fact that someone else comes in. Who doesn't believe <laughs> who doesn't, Jesus is God. Like, yeah. And everyone turns and says, huh? Other than that, it's an island in pretty like if, if, who's going to Ireland if you're not from Ireland. Right. Right. And I find the more isolated you are, the more unaccepting you are okay you know what i mean so it's like ignorance uh, so much comes from i i've I mean, that's what ignorance is isn't it isn't it the lack of knowledge yeah and when you that's like what's so important about being well-rounded and being in all these cultures and that's why we always talk about learning um other people's beliefs and cultures and then you find all these similarities because when you live a life you know in a village setting this is all you know. When someone comes in, it's like, well, you're wrong yeah. because I have 25 years and everybody in my conscience circle that I've ever known. Yeah. And you believe something different. Right. How could you not be like if you put yourself in? in Because imagine like if an alien came mm-hmm. and said something complete like us on Earth all disagree about things. An alien comes and says something completely different. We'd all be like. Do you know who you're talking yeah, to? Right. We can all shake hands. Us in Russia will shake hands and say, kick rocks. Right. And it's not because we are right, but it's because that's all we know. Yeah. And that's the importance of learning more and becoming more well-rounded. Right. So that you're not ignorant. And um, what's the one word? Just start with a B. Bigoted? Yeah, bigoted. So. Yeah. So it was in the early 1900s and it... it and like I said, today is National Holocaust Remembrance Day, and um, it, the Jews have had it very hard, and they've been very oppressed. And of course, we know about Germany. This happened in Ireland, but um, people do learn. They have pe- they have they do have things now where they um, someone uh, I think paid personally to to re- refurn- refurbish the uh, Jewish cemetery there, mm. and they're trying to. So it's, I'm not saying now that Jewish people are uh, Irish people are. Uh, bigoted yeah they're extremely um welcoming culture at this point but on this day we're remembering times that the jews were had a very tough road yeah for all of history it seems like yeah um uh, but yeah i mean and i think you know it's always good it's also, like even me i find myself being so smart and well-rounded and cultured you know me <laughs> humble <laughs> humble of course but that's sometimes one of my problems mm-hmm. where I get caught in this stem of thinking of, well, we're beyond that. I'm like, because yeah. in my head, it's like, I, I I come on here and I talk about how oh, learn about other cultures. Yeah, we're we're, we're pre- and it's like, just because I am at a point where it's like, well, I never had a bad thought, but it's like the remembrance is such an important right. part to spread awareness of like those who forget history something repeat it You'll are re- bound to repeat it gonna... yeah and, and so there's such an importance of um remembering yeah the things even if it's like ah oh, do we we're past that it's like no it's, it's important yeah. to remember right and they were people just like we talk about the bible and we say you kind of lose track oh this is a story and it's like no timothy was literally afraid for his life like the story of the holocaust and especially you know gen z what comes after gen z these people it's so far away and it's like it's not these were a person like saw me a thing. it was uh it was Anne frank and someone else i can't remember who the someone else was oh uh, martin luther king martin luther king yeah. would both be 93 or something yeah. right now should which, be yeah mm-hmm. yeah had they had they lived and which is crazy to think about because yeah. we you you meet 93 year olds yeah. and it's like you see them as a part of a history of textbook. The queen is 95. When it's like, literally, Anne Frank could be doing speeches today. Right. So it, it's not far removed. Yeah, real people. So keep remembering, keep pushing. And there's never a point where, like like I was saying earlier, of, oh, we're, we're good now. You put the there, book away, yeah. There's never a, a point of that we can get to enough of being fully inclusive and away from bigotry and things like that and that's the goal right is to is to spend your life and hopefully end up in a place where you were better than yes when you found it Frank. so yeah remembrance day big advocate yes but 
let's take a walk. Let's take a walk, guys. It is walk through Thursday. So if you would be so obliged, would you be able to roll the intro editor? Thank you. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cause walk through Wednesday just begun. All right, guys, it is walk through Thursday, my favorite day of the week, not just because it's walk through Thursday, but just because I love Thursdays. It's great. It's even the sound of it. Yeah. Thor, Thursday, Thor. Thursday, yeah. Thursday, Thursday, Friday. It's kind of soft. Yeah. Wednesday. I, Wednesday. It's the I. It's and they, like well, chunky. forget Wednesday. Who, they yeah. need to rename Wednesday. But Thursday, that yeah. TH. It's just smooth. Thursday. Smooth like butter. Can anyone not say THs? Uh, yeah, like the English, Thursday. right? Thursday. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, think. <laughs> they say like F. Is it Thursday? I don't know. Thursday. I don't know. But Thurs, that's, Thursday. It's such a regional, just like Americans, not all Americans no, yeah, it's not all talk English, Southern or New York, you I'm know. Saying, like, there's, a, there's a certain type of English that doesn't say their F. What's up, bruv? That's not an F. That's making an F. Brother. You're taking away the TH. Bro, what's up, brother? So it'll be first. Brother? I don't know. It sounds like a speech impediment. God bless. <laughs> well, the the king of Barcelona. Or the king Barcelona. Of Spain, Barcelona. He gave everyone. He did the opposite. He gave everyone a TH. Barcelona. You get a TH and you get a TH. And you all get a, you th- get a TH. Can you imagine being so powerful <laughs> that everyone has to I wouldn't like have it. a speech impediment? I don't want to do that to people. What would I have everyone do? I everyone don't have know. a fear of public speaking? <laughs> Like to the most confident person is like you better, you better start shaking. Your voice better crack. Yeah. Otherwise, to make me look normal. Straight to the gallows. Let's read the Bible. Let's read the Bible, why don't we? All right, guys. Walk through Thursday. What is it? We open up the Bible. Wow, the Bible has not been open. Now it's open. Um, and we pick a verse, any verse, and we slow it down. We walk through it mm-hmm. essentially. Mm-hmm. And instead of just reading a story and saying that was a good story, yeah. we break it down to the intricacies and, and we try to get meaning out of every word like when you're eating like like a chicken bo- chicken or something you're just like every last yeah morsel. we're getting and walk we, the marrow we crack yeah, the bones yeah. we get the marrow yeah. it's like every 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 word yeah is is a uh, is a set of sunflower seed and we're trying to get that yeah, seed inside kernel, yeah maybe the ranch flavored ones yeah we suck on the seeds a little bit mm, making my mouth water just thinking about the bible <laughs> but <laughs> um Anyway, so yeah, we, we chop it down, break it down, slow it down, uh, sentence by sentence, line by line, word by word, letter by letter, syllable by syllable. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So let's get into it. Without further ado, what book are we reading from? There's a lot of books in the Bible. Do you know how many? So many. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. 26? Or is that how many letters are in the alphabet? That's how many teeth you have. That's 32. Oh. <laughs> Does that count wisdom teeth? I don't know. Stupid wisdom teeth. It's got it, right? I don't know. Adult teeth? Wisdom teeth? I don't know. Would you consider maybe. the four wisdom teeth? Yeah, maybe most people have 28 after you get your wisdom teeth removed. Or would you have 30? No, nobody would ever have Six. 36 teeth. It must be I'm left with 28. Well, I, didn't, I only had three wisdom teeth that were formed. I hear that's because you aren't evolved fully. <laughs> Just read the Bible. All right. We are reading from Joshua. Our boy, we read from Joshua. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho when the walls come tumbling down. I think we read it out of Joshua a lot. Do we? I I, I have to look. You know, I have a list, but I... Do you check it twice? I refuse. You didn't check it once. I don't even check it once. So we're reading Joshua 1, 9. Just one nine. verse. <laughs> one, is that what it is? One verse? Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Chapter, chapter is verse. Whole, mm-hmm. Chapter is 9. Well, chapter is one and the verse is nine. Yeah. Sometimes Joshua we'll read C1 like nine V9. Okay. So we're just reading one verse. What today. what um version are you reading? A new international version. The only version you should be reading. Just kidding. You can read any version. It's just the one we like, especially for yeah, walk through. They Thursday. they basically match. So if you're reading a different one, you're you're gonna still know what we're saying. Yes, but for walk through Thursday, we like it because mm-hmm. it it gives it to you in a way that plain, it's easier talk, yeah. to mm-hmm. break it down. All right. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the lo- for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. I like this. I'm glad. I like it a lot. I'm glad. And why do I like it? I like it for the first line. So let's just start breaking it down. Okay. Have I not commanded you? What is that? What is that? Have I not told you? Have I told you lately? 
that I love you. <laughs> I'm in a singing mood. I can tell. Okay. I love it because he's saying, have I not, not commanded you? <laughs> yeah. But why, like, why do you love it? Well, you just repeated the sentence. I'm trying to give a little more like context to it. It's like I see like a parent and it's not even angry, right? It's not like, but when a parent says like, have I not told you a thousand times to like do this, do that, right? Like it's asked, like. You usually say I asked, right? I asked you a thousand times to pick up. This is commanding. What? This one's commanding. Yeah, but we'll get on. I mean, okay. have I not, have I not, I'm, I'm like softening and I'm giving it a comparison okay. to make it relatable. Okay. Let's so walk through Thursdays about. I need to just have, take, a, I need to take a break. Have I not told you? It's a, what is it when there's a called a question that rhetoric. rhetorical, it's a rhetorical mm-hmm. okay. sentence, right? Because he like, knows, God knows he's commanded you. He has commanded yeah. you. It's like, come on. Mm-hmm. I've told you this. I've commanded you. Yeah. Yet, it's not, whatever we're about to get into, you haven't been doing. Mm. Be strong. Oh, okay, so it's already good. And courageous. I'm already afraid. Do not be afraid. But I'm already afraid. Because people, when, when I people tell me to be strong, I say to myself, how? I, I, I'm scared. I'm not strong. And he's commanding me to be strong. Yeah. How? But having faith in him. That's like what he said. Like he's okay. talking to you. He's speaking <laughs> to you. he's speaking to somebody and it's you. Okay. It, it's it's like that's the thing. It's like oh, and then like, but I but I'm not strong. Like right. I don't believe in the Bible, but I'm scared. It's like right. that's like that's my command for you. Like it, and so that's what it's a command. It, it's not it's not saying, Oh Do you think you are? Yeah. And, yeah, he's and, not asking me, do you th- Rona, do you think you can do it? And with a lot of this it, it, it's not like like I don't think it's so much an action. Have I not told you to not eat yeah. sugar before dinner? Right, right. I've not told you to be strong. Like, be strong in yourself. Okay. You, anyone can do that. Okay. It's not a physical strength. It's not to go to the gym. It's well, like there's a there's a a video clip of a college basketball team, and one of the seniors on the team, or no, one of the, like the younger guys on the team. Like does a bad play, big guy must be like six nine or something, and he's walking and he's just um like head down and stuff. The game's not over, and one of the the teammates run over and they grab his chin and they lift it up. Oh, Sali, they don't have numbers. That's the wrong guy to pass it to in that situation, oh, and they god. turn it over. Oh my god, that's kind of the story of. Just, uh, great job by Jalen Hands. Come over there, take his throat, and just push his head back <laughs> up in the air. Let's go. Come on. And then, and then he just keeps walking away. He's still sad. Chin up. Oh, I love it. He's still sad, but yeah. it's like, it's like keep your chin up. Like, keep your chin up. Like, nobody, nobody's yelling at you. You're being hard on yourself. Okay. Right. You're allowing yourself to not be strong. Right. You're allowing yourself not to be courageous. You're not allowing yourself to be afraid. Okay. And it's like, that's what it is. It's like, chin up. Okay. Have I not told you? You are my child. Right. Like, he what, believes in in me more than I believe in myself. Yeah, and then like uh, So I don't have to believe in myself. I just have to believe in him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what, what was that podcast we just did about the second confidence podcast? Oh, okay. I I put a little a little clip art image up at the end that was like confidence in yourself is able to fall apart. Like confidence in God is like limitless. I'll put okay. it up. It's right here. Okay. But it's that same idea and it's like the same way, you know, in that basketball game, it's like, what are you putting your chin up for? Like, we got your back. Like, it's, it's, you're not by yourself. Right. And in all of those things of, like, uh, you have a confidence in God, it's like, that's what you're saying. It's like, whoa, what, what, are, you, what are you not strong for? Like, you are my child. Yeah. What are you, what are you not being courageous for? Like, I, I, I showed you how to not be afraid. I right. told you that you're following me. Right. I told you there's nothing to be afraid of. And so, what are you being afraid yeah. for? Yeah. I've told you a million times. Do not be discouraged. Same thing. It's like, uh, well, it, it, it's yeah. Like, don't look at, don't look at all the reasons why, because because when you get in a, 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 in a circle of of fear, yeah, I have reasons why. Like, if someone tells me, "Oh, don't be afraid," it's like, no, I have reasons why. This is why. This is why. This is why. And I get discouraged. Yeah. And it's like, don't get don't get discouraged. Don't yeah. look don't don't look at those things that have nothing yeah. to do with me. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And that's like that sums up what we've been saying, but it's just like that. What's what's that? The Eminem line? 
What you crying for? You got me. Hey, Leah, I know you're Mr. Mom. Uh, okay. I know you're Mr. Dad. <laughs> um, it's that, like, what, what, what I told you. And so it's, it's not just like, so in the beginning, you know, it was like, I told you be strong. I told you. So it's all like, you said, but what was your question? But, but I am afraid. Right. In the end, it's like, so why shouldn't I be afraid? It's because your God is with you wherever you go. Yeah, that's the most important part. Yeah. For the Lord, your God will be with you wherever you it, go. It goes to the sheep and the shepherd. It's yeah. like. The reason the the sheep sleeping at night is not because there's not wolves. Right. It's because you're com you're confident that your shepherd right. is defending you from the wolves. Yeah. If you stay awake because you're watching out for wolves, and the shepherd was able to speak sheep. Yeah. He'd say, "What are you not sleeping for? Right. Have I not told you you're you're, you're fine?" He and, he can speak sheep. I'm sure. The shepherd can speak sheep. <laughs> yeah. Wherever is the most is it. Not the most important word, but it's a very important word to me here, wherever you go, because I am a believer and I am strong in my hand, no. handing. I am strong. You sound like you're giving yourself <laughs> self affirmations and handing my problems over to God, usually. Okay. And then I'm, I'm doing really good, right? And then um, I get COVID mm. and then I say, but this is more scary than yeah. my normal existence. Or I'm sliding on ice on the in the car. This is scarier than my normal existence. And it's those times, and I do get discouraged, to go back a few words, I do get discouraged in my faith because I think, eh, I'm being tested at this point and I'm, I'm already faltering. And if I could just remember this, wherever, wherever, if you go to prison, if you go to a mountaintop, if you go to the bottom of the sea, I always have this personal bodyguard with me. Yeah. And I think that's interesting when you said we get tested and we always say that uh, this is a, this is a test from God. This is a test from God. When you think of a test, you think of the teacher being at front and saying, take your test. Right. And sometimes we treat spiritual tests the same way mm -hmm. where we treat like God's like watching you. This is a test. Let's see how you act. Oh, yeah. When it's not that it, okay. it, it's God's with you and he's ready to give you the answers. You okay. know what I mean, like we make it more. It's an, it's an open book test. Yeah. And, and he's there like, if you ask me what number two is, I'll tell you. Oh, right, And right, it's right. like, it's not. Yeah, like, you know, just like yesterday, you have the key. You know, like, yeah. God, could I have the key? And it's like, you have the key. Yeah, so often we treat these. Oh, the answer key. Yeah. We forgot that that was one of the ways oh, you the can say key. key. So much we treat it as a test of God's there with the clipboard saying, I wonder how he's going to act. Better choose the right answer. Right. When he's right, he's next to you saying. Do you want the right answer? <laughs> right. I'll give it to you. Right. Because he was free will. He lets you falter if you if you like. And I noticed from the very beginning. <laughs> it's like on, you ever take like a real easy test in school and like the third one says C is not the right answer. <laughs> it's like. Yeah. You, you, sometimes you circle that one. Right. It's like it said it wasn't the right answer. Just thought I'd try something. <laughs> thought it was a trick. Um, First part. Have have I not commanded you? And then. When we come down here, um, for the Lord your God will be with you. I I found a connection between him saying, H I told you this, and talk about free will. Because when you come down here, he's saying, and I am the Lord your God. Like you have already agreed to, you know, to, that yeah. I am your God. So it's not like a stranger told you this yeah. or somebody who you wish wouldn't tell you this. It's like, yes, I want you to be my my God. And then the, he, he speaks to me. And then I'm just like, ah, I don't know, you know? Yeah. No, definitely. And uh, yeah, I think I think it's it's all important. And for all of those things, be strong, courageous, don't be afraid, don't be discouraged. A lot and it's, of, it's in there a lot, the Bible. Yeah. Be, be not afraid, yeah. A lot of those things, is, it's because we treat a lot of things like, it's haven't I told you to do that? And it's like, yeah, but it's hard. And it's like, no. that you just have to always remember that the last part of this, for the Lord your God, like, I'm going up. Against, I'm going up against a lot, right? It sounds like I should be afraid. When it's me and God, you already know, right? Nothing can can be too strong for God, right? Or too much for God, right? Or too fearful for God. So if you are a package deal, He's with you wherever you go. Yeah, that's why it's like it's almost like He's like, hey, what the hell? You know? Right. Like if I'm with a girl and I'm walking down the street and this guy comes up and says. Starts yelling at her and she gets all afraid. I'm like, hey, what are you afraid for? I'm right here. Right. And she's like, and then if she looked at me and said, yeah, but I'm still afraid. I, exactly. I'd be like, well, 
hold on. Exactly. I'm really strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's a bad comparison because I would still be afraid just because I don't like any confrontation, whether or not it, it's a winning or a losing battle. Right. But you get what I'm saying. I, I it's, did. It's, it, it, it's, it's not about, yeah, if you were alone, right. you would be intimidated, but look who you're with. It's like those old uh, infomercials, you know, like, can the knife cut through a tomato? Yeah. Can it cut through the, and, and like, same thing, like, should I be afraid for this? No. Yeah. Should I be afraid for this? No. Should I be afraid for this? Like, wherever you go, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Be strong, courageous. Do not be discouraged. But that is Walkthrough Thursday. Oh, just on time. The alarms are going off. That is Walkthrough Thursday. We'll be back tomorrow for it. Will it be Dr. Seuss Friday? Yes. Another Dr. Seuss Friday. We love them. Um, until then, go out. And you know what? Be strong, courageous, do not be afraid, and do not be discouraged. Why? Because the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Peace. Okay.